This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Chapter 5 Magic Items Here are some new magic items to add to those described in Chapter 8 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Items in this Chapter 5 format presented there unless otherwise specified. Armor Magic armor bonuses are enhancement bonuses that stack the regular armor bonuses and with the armor and enhancements, enhancement bonuses from shields, all magic armor is masterwork armor, so armor check penalties are reduced by one. Armor may also have a special ability which count as additional bonuses for determining the market value of an item. They do not improve armor class. Armor and shield ab special abilities. A suit of armor or shield with a special ability must have at least a plus one enhancement bonus. Acidic. A suit of armor or shield with the ability has a slick sheen and is constantly covered in a layer of lightly smoking acid. The wearer and anything she carries is immune to acid, including the produ produ including that produced by the armor. Acidic armor deals 2d4 points of acid damage per round of contact during a grapple. Momentarily touch attacks have no effects. Objects not held by the wearer can be damaged by direct contact with the armor for a full round. Caster level 6 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Melfs, Acid, Arrow, Resist Elements, Market Price, Plus 4 Bonus. Aquatic. This armor appears steamlined and possesses a greenish glint. Aquatic armor enables its wearer to move freely through water without the need for swim checks. Drowning rules still apply. See? the drowning rule in chapter 3 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Unless the wearer can breathe water. Rare versions of aquatic armor include a persistent water breathing effect as the spell but affecting only the wearer. Caster level 7th prerequisites craft mag magic arms and armor Freedom of movement, water breathing when present, market price plus two bonus, plus two bonus with water breathing. Arrow catching. A shield with this quality attracts ranged weapons to, to it. It grants a plus one deflection bonus to armored class against ranged weapons as projected as projectiles and thrown weapons veer towards the shield, not the shield bearer. Additionally, any projectile or thrown weapon aimed at a target within five feet of the shield bearer diverts it, its original target and targets the shield bearer instead. If the shield bearer has total cover with respect to the attacker, the projectile or thrown weapon is not uh, diverted. Projectiles and thrown weapons that have an enhancement bonus higher than the shield's total bonus to AC are not diverted, but the shield's increased AC bonus still applies against attacks directed at the bearer. Those attacking the shield bearer with ranged weapons ignore any mischance that would normally apply due to concealment or magic effects. The bear activates this ability with a command word and can shut it off by repeating it. Caster level 8 Prerequisites Craft magic, magic arms and armor Entropic shield Market price plus one bonus 
Bane Blind, a favorite of rangers and bounty hunters. Bane Blind armor grants Im improv improve <coughs> improved in vis visibility to the wearer against a specific creature type chosen when the armor is created. Creatures who are subject to the Bane Blind find that their scent ability is likewise unable to detect the wearer. Although hearing tremor, tremor sense and other sensing methods will still work. Any category of creature on the ranger's favored enemy list can be chosen from the Bane Blind effect. The following table determines what type of creature a random suit of Bane Blind armor affects. D percentage 0, 1 through 10 Creature type Aberrations D percentage 11 through 15 Creature type Animals D percentage 16 through 30 Creature type Beasts D percentage 31 through 32 Creature type Constructs D percentage 33 through 34 Creature type Elements D percentage 35 through 37 Creature type Fey D percentage 38 through 47 Creature type Giants D percentage 48 through 57 Creature type Humanite Humanoid type DM chooses a specific race D percentage 58 through 67 Creature type Magical Beast, D percentage 68 through 77, Creature Type, Monstrous Humanoid, DM chooses Specific Race, D percentage 78 through 79, Creature Type, Oozes, D percentage 880 through 81, Creature Type, 8 Outsider, Chaotic, DM chooses Specific Race, D percentage 82 through 83 Outsider Lawful DM chooses specific race D percentage 84 through 86 Outsider Evil DM chooses specific race Creature type Outsider Evil DM chooses specific race D percentage 87 through 89, Outsider Good, DM chooses specific race, then D percentage nothing, plants. D percentage 90 through 94, creature type, shape, shape changers. D percentage 95 through 97, creature type undead. D percentage 98 to 100, creature type vermin. One means there are no examples on bone blend armor designed for use against plants. Caster level 7th prerequisites craft magic armor and armor improved in visibility market price plus 3 bonus. Buffering. Buffering armor and buffering shield are always dull black and they appear to possess depth that couldn't exist. A suit of armor or shield with this quality absorbs ability draining and level draining quality draining attacks. It can absorb as many points of uh, Ability damage or levels drained per day as its enhancement bonus. It also allows fortitude saves against energy drain attacks that normally don't allow such saves. A successful save halves the effects. Buffering armor and buffering shields do not change saves against attacks that already allow them. Caster level 7th prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. 
Restoration, market price plus three bonus. Command, this armor or shield always appears brilliant and gleaming, no matter what the conditions and despite all attempts to paint over or obscure it. Converted by military leaders of all sorts, it carries a powerful aura that grants a plus four competence bonus on charisma based skill checks and reaction checks. Furthermore, all allies within 30 feet of the wearer of the armor or shield gets a plus two morale bonus on will saves, on will saves, on will saves. Command armor and command shield make their owners very noticeable, imposing a negative penalty on high checks. Caster level 5th prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. 5 levels of spell casting ability. Market price plus 2 bonus. Dancing. The wearer can release a dancing shield as a standard action and command it to protect a single character, possibly the wearer himself. The dancing shield floats in the air in front of the protected character, darting in the way of an opponent's weapon and providing cover against attacks from one opponent per round. Treat the shield's armor bonus, including its enhancement bonus, as a cover bonus to armor class. At the end of four rounds, the dancing shield falls to the ground. It must be picked up and commanded for it to function again. And it ceases dancing before four rounds have passed, if so commanded. Only one dancing shield can protect a character at a time. It is half as effective, half the cover bonus to armor class when protecting a large creature. A large creature, and it cannot provide meaningful cover for a huge or bigger creature. A dancing shield functions only for a character that is proficient with shields. Caster level 15 prerequisites: craft magic arms and armor, animate objects. Market price plus three bonus. Daylight. A suit of armor or a shield with this quality glows with the brilliant light of the daylight spell for up to 30 minutes per day. A command word, usually inscribed in the inside of the armor or on the back of the shield, activates and deactivates the illumination. Except when glowing, this armor or shield appears completely normal. Caster level 5th prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Delight market price plus 2 bonus. Distracting armor or shield with this quality shimmer and glow hypnotically. Anyone engaged in combat with the wearer must succeed on a will save each round or be affected by the day spell. Once per day, the wearer can activate hypnotic pattern as the spell from a ninth level caster. Caster level ninth prerequisites, craft mag magic, arms, and armor. Days, hypnotic pattern, market price plus three bonus. Fearsome. This suit of armor or shield creates an aura of fear around the wearer, as the fear spell from a, a 7th level caster. This aura affects all opponents within 40 feet of the wearer. The armor or shield, the armor or shield appears completely normal except to those who failed their save. The fearful see a creature from their worst nightmares in place of the wearer. Caster level 7 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor fear. Market price plus 2 bonus. Feathered. A suit of armor or a shield with this ability appears to be created from thousands of ir iridescent feathers. This Characteristic has no effect on armor or shield weight. 
armor check penalties or other statistics. Feather armor or a feathered shield allows the wearer to fly up to 50 minutes per day as the fly spell. Caster level 5th, prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, fly, market price, plus 2 bonus. Sacred, a suit of armor or a shield with this quality assists only wearers who have the ability to turn or rebuke undead. Sacred armor or a sacred shield increases the owner's effective level for the turning check by a plus two. Armor and shields with this ability are always specific to a deity and permanently feature the god's holy symbol. Caster level eight, prerequisite, craft, magic arms and armor. Ability to turn or rebuke undead. Market price plus two bonus. Wrapping. A shield with this quality hinders foes who are struck by it. With a successful shield bash attack, the wrapping shield bearer can make the shield magically bind itself to the opponent. It will not move until the command word words are uttered. Often shield release. The target dies or the shield is pulled off with a successful strength check, DC 20. The bearer lose any benefit to armor class while the shield is attached to the target. A wrapping shield does not function against huge or larger creatures, nor does it work to incorpor on incorporeal foes. The wearer can lose himself from the shield no the wearer can loose himself from the shield normally. It is difficult for the opponent to perform any physical actions while the shield is so attached and it's equally difficulty, difficult for the wrapping shield bearer to do much while someone is wriggling against the shield. Both incur an additional armor check penalty of negative 5, which stacks with any existing armor check penalties that applies only to skill checks, and a negative 1 circumstance penalty on attacks. Caster level. Third, prerequisites. Craft magic arms in an armor. Make whole. Market price plus 1 bonus. Specific armor and shields. The following specific suits of armor and shields usually are pre constructed with exactly the qualities described here. Armor of Weapon Creation. This plus one half plate has built in armor spikes and spike gauntlets. See armor description in chapter 7 of the player's handbook. As a standard action, the armor can produce any of the following simple melee weapons. Dagger, punching dagger, light mace, sickle, half spear, heavy mace, or morning star. The weapon forms out of the armor itself in whichever hand the wearer chooses. The wearer can also choose to create a weapon in each hand, although it requires another action to do so. The weapon type can be changed each round. Weapons created by the suit cannot be removed, and the wearer cannot be disarmed of any such weapon. Created weapons last indefinitely or until the wearer chooses to get rid of them. If a weapon is destroyed, the armor cannot create a new weapon for 24 hours. Caster level 9th, prerequisites, craft magic, armor, arms and armor, major creation, market price 42,305 gold pieces, cost to create 21,555 gold pieces, plus 1,660 XP. Bell Eye. This suit of plus two half plate is completely covered with engravings of sinister looking eyes. Three times per day, the owner can cast emotion, fear only, as an 11th level sorcerer. 
and uh, where also gains a plus four morale bonus on will saves against fear effects. Caster level seven prerequisites craft magic arms and armor. Emotion remove fear. Market price thirty eight thousand three hundred sixty gold pieces. Cost to create nineteen thousand eight hundred five gold pieces plus. 1,504 XP. This arm, this plus two scale mail, has an irregular overlapping pattern. Seemingly indiscriminate, the scales overlap down and up in sideways. Three times per day, the wearer may direct the armor to execute a disarm attempt when an opponent scores a hit with a melee weapon. The scales seem to come alive and attempt to wrench the opponent's weapon out of his or her hands as if the wearer had an improved disarm feat and a readied attempt to disarm. When disarming in this fashion, the armor uses the wearer's melee attack bonus with an additional plus five bonus. Caster level 6, prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, market price 10,875 gold pieces, cost to create 5,538 gold pieces, plus 427 XP. Gaze Bane, created for the ranger, Aerialus, this armor helped him eliminate several nests of medusas that infiltrated his swampy home. This plus one chain shirt is extremely polished, actually allowing someone to see their reflection in its chain links three times per day. The wearer can ignore the effects of any gaze attacks. Caster level 13th. 13th. Prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, limited wish, market price 74,050 gold pieces, cost to create 37,150 gold pieces, plus 2,952 XP. Plant Bang. This plus one leather armor is the color of dried leaves and dead wood. It is excellent for clearing pathways through thickly forested terrain, although it does leave an obvious trail of dead and dying plants. Druids, elves, and other nature lovers take a dim view of uncontrolled use of this armor. It continually produces a diminished plant's effect, and once per day the wearer can cast anti-plant shell as the spells for the seventh no as the spells from a seventh level caster. Caster level seventh prerequisites craft magic arms and armor anti plant shell diminish plants market price forty one thousand two hundred and forty gold pieces Cost to create 20,700 gold pieces plus 1,643 XP. Skin Paint. Skin Paint armor was brought to civilization from remote barbarian tribes. This magic paint is mixed from rare dyes and herbs found only in remote parts of the world and come in small pots. One pot contains three applications. One application lasts for 24 hours. The paint imbues its wear with a plus 5 armor bonus to AC. This is considered a light armor that has no maximum dexterity bonus and no armor check penalty. Its weight is negligible. It takes 4 minutes to apply skin paint armor. 2 minutes if another character does nothing but assist you, 1 minute to do so hastily, and 1 minute to remove, 30 seconds if another character does nothing but assist you. Caster level 15th. 
prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, alchemy, 5 ranks, mark price 5,000 gold pieces, cast to create 2,500 gold pieces plus 2,000 XP. Spider Shield A painting of a stylized red spire, spider pierced by a spike adorns this plus two small steel shield. The spike continually oozes the spider's poison. Injury DC 11, 1d3 strength, 1d3 strength. Once per day, the shield can be commanded to turn into a small monstrous spider that fights on behalf of its owner. The spider is a normal creature in all respects. If the spider is killed, it immediately reverts into shield form and cannot be activated again for 24 hours. If the spider is killed using disintegrate, it is completely destroyed and does not turn back into a shield. Caster level 15th. Prerequisites. Craft magic arms and armor. Poison, polymorph, any object. Market price, 40,809 gold pieces. Cost to create, 20,489 gold pieces plus 1,626 XP. Stone cunning. This dwarf size plus one full plate is beautifully engraved with images of dwarven stone masons practicing their craft. Humans who wear the armor gain the stone cunning ability. Dwarves who wear the armor gain a plus two circumstance bonus on any stone cunning checks which stack with their racial bonus. In addition, the dwarf can use stone shape and stone tail once per day. Caster level 11th prerequisites Craft magic arms and armor, stone shape, stone tail, market price 32,130 gold pieces, cost to create 16,890 gold pieces plus 1,220 XP. Swarm shield. This shield appears to be a single bracer when first worn. When the command word is spoken, thousands of flying insects swarm towards the bracer, converging in a circular shape the size of a small shield. The insects move with the wearer's arm and act as a plus one small shield once per day. When the wearer speaks a second command word, the insects stream away from the wearer's arm towards a target as if the wearer had cast summon swarm with the flying beetles swarm type. The swarm lasts as long as the wearer concentrates, but she has no shield while the swarm is active. Caster level 3rd prerequisites craft magic arms and armor summon swarm. Market price 6,160 gold pieces, cost to create 3,150 gold pieces plus 241 XP. Tessellated Armor. This curiously usual usually appears to be on a uh, be an ornate lacquered box containing hundreds of identical metallic shapes. Numerous ver variations exist for the shapes, including lizards, beetles, mounted riders, and Peloran sons. When the command word is spoken, the shapes stream from the box and flow over the wearer's body, interlocking perfectly to create a single smooth suit of plus two full plate. The armor is lighter and more flexible than normal full plate and is considered medium armor rather than heavy. Its armor check penalty is negative four and it has an arcane spell failure chance of 25%. Once per day on command the shapes 
wriggle and move about the wearer's body, creating a hypnotic pattern effect. Caster level 8, prerequisite craft magic arms and armor, hypnotic pattern, market price 11,560 gold pieces, cost to create 6,605 gold pieces plus 397 XP. Useful Buckler. This plus one buckler has the ability to transform into a variety of different tools on command. To determine which tool the buckler has, roll five times on the following table, ignoring duplicate results. D10, one, tool, saw, wood. D10, two, tool, wrench, adjustable. D10, three, Grapple tool, grappling hook, hook, grappling hook. D10, four, tool, hacksaw. D10, five, tool, grappling hook. D10, six, tool, bolt cutters. D10, seven, tool, spike, chisel. Spike slash chisel. D10, eight, tool, bow, drill. D10, nine, tool, shovel, small. D10, ten, tool, tongs, large. Small symbols of the tools and buckler can turn into it are engraved on the inside face. Small symbols of the tools and buckler can turn into and engraved on the inside face. The wearer says a command word to transform the shield into a tool or to switch between tools, although he must be he must be touching the shield slash tool to activate the ability. The tools are also made of metal and have the same break point as the shield, hardness ten point five HP. Caster level 9th, prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, fabricate, market price 10,265 gold pieces, cost to create 5,250 gold pieces, plus 404 XP. Vampire Hunter. This plus 3 funded male was created to assist brave adventurers in the struggle against vampires. It is usually found in the armories of churches dedicated to vanquishing those blood suckers. Protected symbols from benevolent gods cover vampire hunter armor, which has noticeably thick neck protection. On command, the armor produces the light and protection from evil, or daylight and protection from evil. Once per day it can produce sunburst and a holy smile as the spells from a 15 level cleric. Vampire Hunter armor grants a plus 4 morale bonus on will saves against divination attempts. Energy drain attacks by vampires and only vampires are reduced from two negative levels to one negative level. Vampire Hunter armor also has armbands made of wood that can grow wooden stakes that appear against the upper arm. These can be removed and used as plus one weapons, 1d3 damage, threat range 19 to 20 piercing. It takes a full round action to regrow a stake once it has been removed from the armband. The armor bestows one negative level on any non-good creature wearing it. The negative level persists as long as the armor is warm and disappears when the armor is removed. The negative level nev the negative level never results in actual level loss, but it cannot be overcome in any way, including restoration spells, while the armor is worn. 
Caster level 15. Prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, daylight, holy, smite, minor creation, protection from evil, sunburst, market price 100,000 gold pieces, cost to create 50,200 gold pieces, plus 3,984 XP. Variable shield. A variable shield normally, a plus one small steel shield, can change its size in, on mental command. As a standard action, the shield can shrink or grow from a buckler to a tower shield. All the rules for carrying items with shields apply to the new shield size. See armor description in chapter 7 of the player's handbook. You cannot use a weapon in your hand if it also carries a small shield, and you must drop an item in that hand if you're carrying a large or tower shield. Characters not proficient in shields take an additional negative 2 armor check penalty during the following round if the variable shield size changes during combat. Caster level 5th Prerequisites, craft magic arms and armor, enlarge, market price 6,560 gold pieces, cost to create 3,360 gold pieces, plus 257 XP. Weapons. Magic weapons have enhancement bonuses and just as magic armor does and all magic weapons are master order. However, the plus one enhancement bonus for a master work weapon does not stack with the plus one enhancement bonus that all magic weapons have. Weapons also have special abilities which count as additional bonuses for determined market value, but they do not improve attack or damage rolls. Magic weapon special abilities. A magic weapon with a special ability must have at least a plus one enhancement bonus. Acidic Burst An acidic burst weapon function, functions as a corrosive weapon. See below. That also explodes with acid upon storing a successful critical hit. The acid does not harm the hands that hold the weapon. Acidic burst weapons deal a plus 1d10 points of damage acid damage. 1d10 points of bonus acid damage on a successful critical hit. If their weapon's critical multiplier is times 3, add plus 2d10 points of bonus acid damage instead. And if the multiplier is times 4, add plus 3d10 points of bonus acid damage. Bows, crossbows, and slings with this ability bestow the acid energy upon their ammunition. Caster level 12 prerequisites craft magic arms and armor, acid fog, Melf's acid arrow, or storm of vengeance. Market prize plus 2 bonus. This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Anchor. Breaker. Overcast. Pocket Casts. Radio Public. Spotify. Support us on Patreon and check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.